Welcome to BalsaCircle.com, your one-stop shop for all of your event decor. Today we're going to show you three separate looks on three different chairs on how to creatively put together the bride and groom chairs. Of course, we want to make your chairs a little bit more special than all the rest, and we're going to show you how to get creative with these three separate looks. Starting with this first one, we're going to go ahead and feature our Shivari chairs here. Now these are in the color of silver, and we're lacing through our satin table runners in the color of ivory. Now you just want to lace it through so the very bottom bar is the only bar that's showing on the chair taking two of these green garlands and also an LED light garland now these garlands are eight feet long you're not gonna need all eight feet we're gonna snip it at the end but it's great because you can use it at another part of your event so at the very top of one of the chairs you're going to lace it through the actual chain part of the garland and then secure it onto the side of the chair we're using fishing line here of course it's very hard to see because that's the whole point you don't want to see it it just it's great for DIYs like this it makes things look like they're floating or levitating and just making sure that it looks really flawless as far as when it comes to design so the very edge of the other one you're gonna do the same thing allowing that battery pack of the LED lights of course you want to hide that and this is a great tip on how to do that you want to put it on the very back outside part of the chair you don't want your bride or groom to be uh, arching their back during the night while they're eating their food because they've got a battery pack you know edging up their spine so there you go you didn't don't even see what's going on behind the curtain there here we're using a bride and groom kind of cut out we used our Cricut here however these are super super popular online you can probably buy it on Etsy or you can get it at the store They've got these all over the place if you don't want to make it yourself. Here you can see in the darkness, the LED lights look really, really nice. They're in the color of cool white, and of course they look just as beautiful in the light as well. Moving on to our look number two, we're working with a banquet chair here. We have different colors. We have all sorts of colors. So for your wedding, for your quinceanera, we have you covered. So you're just putting all the little booties on the bottom. It's kind of like a little onesie for your chair. Love these because you don't have to iron them. They're super stretchy and they fit uh, banquet chairs perfectly. Now putting on a spandex chair sash, they marry really, really well together. You want to make sure it's super smooth. And notice how we put that on first and now we're putting on letter rhinestone gem stickers in the color of gold. Now these are an inch and a half or so height. We're placing them on. You can eyeball them to make sure that they are centered and in line. You definitely can take them off if they are not centered for your first time or your second time, go ahead and just place them how you'd like and you'll definitely get that desired look. Look number three here, I love this because this has got a beautiful outside look and with this chair, we're using a really nice wooden kind of ivory white chair. Very typical of the outside weddings. Picking a font that we're gonna be painting on, first using a pencil just to sketch out Mr. and Mrs. here. Now, please don't get intimidated if you're not artsy. Grab a girlfriend who is artsy. She would love to do this for you. Or you can always, like I said, you can always have someone who is a neighbor or is an art class do this for you. Or if you are artsy yourself, go ahead and go for it. Here we're just putting some dots on the very top that we're gonna be drilling. Yes, power tools to the max. Just putting a hole at the very top. And yes, if you're wondering where we got this uh, brown piece of wood, actually, we did get a slab from the Home Depot, very, very thin. And then we just cut it into a little piece like four by seven or five by seven, something like that. Now, once that look is done and you've laced that burlap twine through the holes, now we're moving on to our kind of glass milk jar here and putting that burlap twine on the uh, circumference. First, you're probably just gonna put it around six, seven times. Cut a separate piece and make a nice little knot there. This is all for character. You can do whatever you want here. But this just adds a little cute knot at the very top. Taking some silk flowers, snipping off two, three. Don't get too full on this. We have all sorts of silk flowers in different colors and different kinds of flowers, so check those out on our website. Once that's done, you're gonna put a nice long one at the very, very edge. You can always snip it shorter at the very end that we're doing here. Now, here's a tip when you do, you know, put that twine on the sign there, always make it a lot longer than you need because you can always cut it shorter, but if it was too short in the beginning, 
you just have to do another one it's not a big deal but you know obviously we want to give our little tips here for you as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous this is one of my favorite looks don't tell anyone especially with the summer months coming this is perfect for your mr and mrs chairs if you guys found this valuable make sure that you like the video share it with a friend and subscribe for all of your creative decor and event ideas until next time stay creative